What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K21 My Team Video 1. Guys, today... We are going over the market, and yes, guys, we did stream earlier. Just want to test things out. We streamed for like 45 minutes. We'll probably stream later, too. We're going to start streaming a lot more, so if you guys could please show some support, it would be appreciated, man. Um, We're on the road to 14,000 subscribers, and yeah, we are gonna, we're going to start streaming a lot. So it would definitely be appreciated if you guys could please show up to stream. And uh, yeah, we're going to go over the market, man. Um, So now here it is, the time frame. Tomorrow's Tuesday, which means Super Packs definitely are going to drop. I don't know why definitely, but I'm almost 100% sure. So now, today is going to be your time frame to sell. Now, what cards are you going to sell? Here's my opinion. One thing I have to say, this Harden is up a lot. So right now, the market is very high. Um, Thing is, is it a good time to sell your Curry? Well, now, they released Super Packs last week, and they put Zion in them. Did the Zion drop? Not really. He really didn't drop. Well, actually, Zion did drop. He did. But, now, here's the question. Is Curry going to drop? Is those Opals that are in the packs right here going to drop even more? It depends. But now, here's the tip. How are you going to make MT tomorrow? Whatever. Well, here's the tip. They're going to release a lot of Pink Diamonds. How are you going to make MT the easiest way tomorrow and today? Pink Diamonds are going to be crazy. So, the Pink Diamonds in packs are probably going to be Cat, Draymond, and this Cat. So, I think that these cards are literally going to be butter uh clay thompson another one going to be butter to make mt off it's going to be crazy so definitely recommend sniping out them for now um definitely going to be butter like you're going to be able to snipe these cards out with absolutely no problem so definitely pay attention to that it should be very very simple um but yeah curry should you see your team today today's not a bad time to sell your team the market is definitely up there in value i'm not gonna lie it really is um how are you going to make MT, man? I would sell your team, and I would pick up a bunch of pink diamonds tomorrow. Tomorrow, the market should be pretty decently crashed on the pink diamond end, man. Another a perfect example, man, was Malik Sealy, bro. He dropped down, man. Since he's a hype player, a lot of people do like him. A lot of people use him. Um, I got a bunch of him for 18K. I ended up selling him for literally, look at his price. He's not even 26K. He was 18K at a point, man. He's at 29 to 31K. This card is actually goaded. There's not a lot out here. That's one of the cards that I invested in. So, like, tomorrow, Draymond Green, Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, even right now, man, Draymond Green, Carl Anthony Towns is going to be a key factor to Super Packs, man. Whatever is in Super Packs, I think Diamonds and Pink Diamonds, you just buy every single one in sight for prices. So, today, how to prep for tomorrow, you want to consistently look at prices. And you want to check exactly what is right now, what the prices are now, what the prices are going to be tomorrow. That's how I make my MT every week. That is how you're going to make your MT every week. You just got to know price. And you got to know what their max value possibly is and what their value is now. Um, so like, for instance, Draymond Green's 50K right now. Tomorrow, he'll probably be around 38K. And guess what? The next couple of days, he'll probably be back at 50K. This is what happens. You just buy the cards. You buy the cards. You snipe out the cards. You buy them. You sell them. You buy them and sell. That's how you're going to make MT. Sniping, guys, isn't the best way to make MT. It's simply investing. And not only that investing is the easiest way to make mt and it's simple bro trust me all right so personally i think tomorrow some key investments first off first off if you guys invested in carmelo the man's up a lot he was cheap he was 78k he was 75k he was 68k oh this one for 81k is pretty good um i would definitely buy it. as you guys can see i have it literally zero mt I have 11k i have to work on my mc i got all this 11k today so i'm gonna keep grinding um, I literally have no MT, man. This is no money spent account. I have Giannis Antetokounmpo. This is my squad. It's literally no money spent. This is the squad I'm running with, man. It's time to make MT. I'm going to show you guys how. Um, right now, I've been honestly flipping as many Amethysts as possible, man. I think Amethysts, especially for a bunch of ballers, it's just cash. And guys, if you did invest in Amethysts, look how much they're up. There's no Amethysts for even 1,900 MT. If you guys did invest in Amethysts, like I told you to, especially Brent Barry, all these cards. Um, who's the other one? Dwight Howard. They're all over. They're all over 2K. Dwight Howard. Uh, Brent Barry. Those cards. If you remember last week, uh, more than that. 1,200, maybe less. 1,200, 1,100, 1,300. 
Dwight Howard's up over 2200 MT. So if you did invest, made a lot of MT, man. Dwight Howard's probably one player that probably a lot of snipes will pop up on. Um, he's it's at 2600 MT. If you invested, oh my god, congratulations. Uh, Brent Barry, another one, a very good one to invest in. So right now, the Amethyst filter is probably gonna pop off. You're gonna get cars around 1300, selling for like 19, 2000 in seconds. Um, especially Dwight Howard pops up for 1300 MT. You're gonna snipe him out. You're gonna sell him, probably for what? If you get him for uh, 1300, selling for 26, you're gonna make I don't know 2000 MT clean. That's absolutely phenomenal. If you guys can do that consistently every single hour, every single minute, it adds up 60k per hour. That's pretty insane, if you ask me. Um, so right now, man, me personally, I'm staying away from the opal filter. There's just no snipes on it. It's just too dry. If you sit there for an hour, like it's just not worth it. That and the dark matter filter too. It's just not, just not like. I just don't like it. It's just not good. It's just too much, bro. In my opinion, looking up random players, investing in the players that tell you to, is just the way you make MT. It's that simple. You make MT by investing. If you're not investing, you're not going to make MT. It's mad simple. You just not. You got to know what to invest in. Like I said, bro, invest in Diamond Zion. The man was 30K. Look at this. He's up over 48,000 MT. He's at 50K. The friggin', it's easy cash. 7K MT profit after reduction. This is the easiest way to make MT. You just got to listen to my videos. Every single investment I've mentioned has went up so much, especially the Amethyst, man. When Amethysts are that flooded, they always go back up. They're a bunch of ballers. Brent Barry, another bunch of baller that he makes sense. If he, if you snipe him out, it makes sense. He's going to go up. Why? He has Hall of Fame range extender. The man has Hall of Fame range extender, and he's literally an Amethyst for 1,000 MT. You really think he's going to stay there? He's a usable Amethyst that has range extender, you know? So, um, yeah, that's enough, though. I'm talking way too much about Amethyst cards. I'm talking way too much in general. That's how you're going to make MT, man. My personal opinion is Amethyst cards investing on Fridays, bro. If you guys remember all the Amethysts that were so cheap. Another one, man. Zach Levine is another key investment. Uh, but then again, 11 days away, there's going to be Super Packs. So, tomorrow, whenever Super Packs drop, I will make a beautiful video on how to make some MT. Um... There's going to be a great, great video tomorrow. You're going to make a lot of MT from it, especially. I'm going to go over every investment. But honestly, Zach Levine, if they do drop Super Packs tomorrow, he's going to be very cheap. Um, very, very cheap. So we're going to see exactly what they drop tomorrow. My my thing is, I think they're going to really, really drop down the Amethyst Levine. And I think he's going to be one of the best investments. Because in my opinion, man, this Levine's the real deal. I actually use him right now. This is the lineup I've been using. And this Levine is the real deal. I can keep it 88 overall with Levine on the bench. It's just amazing. But yeah, that is all we got for the video, man. I want to know if you guys have been grinding for Mr. Clyde Drexler as well. That would be appreciated, man. Let me know if you are grinding for Clyde the Clyde Drexler. Right now, let's see. Uh, what am I grinding? Where is it? So I'm up to this one. So play 10, 10 games of Triple Threat offline. I'm on to that. And then we got to play some more Triple Threat online. And we're chilling. So one, two, three, four more games. And then we get this Gilbert Arenas, and then we got to go on to this one, Pat Bev, and then D-Russ, and then finally Clyde Drexler. Um, but yeah, that's all we really got for the video. I want to know what you guys are doing, what you guys are sniping, what's the schmooves. And um, yeah, that's all we got for the vid. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Peace.